What's up, Wayne Barron here with Dark Effect Studios, and as you can tell, we are inside of Photoshop, and we have a very cool 3D looking effect that I thought that I would share with the community today. I actually created a similar effect for a Windows video thumbnail that I uploaded yesterday. Let's go ahead and select and get started. Control N or Command N on a Mac. We're going to choose the custom 1280 by 720 artboard here, and we're going to go ahead and zoom into it. We're going to come over here to view show grids we're going to choose our paint bucket we're going to go ahead and click right here then we're going to hit Control i and that's going to color it white hit the t key and then we're going to type in dark and then effects and then studio let's go ahead and put them in order over here okay so now what we want to do and one thing i really love about the new photoshop is that you you can grab oops get the selection tool you can grab a hold of each one of your elements and you no longer have to select them over here in order to move them around like we had to before you just grab a hold of them and select them so kudos to adobe for doing something that they should have done a long time ago so we're going to put our dark right here and our effects it's going to go about right up in here and move it up just right and you can see the lines that's going through if you do not see them lines come over here to view show and make sure that smart guides is on and grab a hold of our studio and we're going to set it to where it uh put that line all the way from the top to the bottom there it goes okay so that's going to set it right in the center as you can see it, we've got it set right in the crosshairs okay let's go ahead and uncheck them too click on view come down here to show get rid of grids right click on dark and we're going to come over here and we're going to change this to 100 percent just to make it so that we can actually see it better go to blending options we're going to choose blend and boys make sure it's set for 200 we're going to set this at 135 and set this at 43 okay and now what we're going to do is that we're going to drag this down create another copy of it right click i mean double click on this one and change its title to red and make this one black we're going to take our red right click go to blending options and come down here to cover overlay click on it and make sure it's all the way up to the top that's f f zero 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 and four zeros click on ok ok again we're going to select our dark black and we're going to hit the left arrow key six times to the left one two three four five six okay and drop it down twice by hitting the bottom arrow key one two all right we're going to drag our black uh text layer put it down here at the bottom we're gonna name this one two we're gonna hit the left arrow key twice one two and as you can see it gives it a very sleek look to it uh, we're gonna take our dark if i mean our effects and studios together drag them down let's grab a hold of studio and drag it down here and then we're gonna name this one just like we did the top ones okay now right click on the red go down to copy layer styles and then select both of the reds here and then paste layer style copy the right uh, right click and choose copy layer style on the black then come down to effects and studio on black and then paste layer styles select all of these and collapse them now let's go ahead and choose our red for our uh, our effects select the black and we're going to hit it six times to the left one two three four five six drop it down twice one two we're going to drag this down to here we're going to name this one two we're going to move it over twice one two we're going to do the same thing to our black down here go ahead and show both of them we're going to hit it six times to the left one two three four five six and drop it down twice one two we're going to drag this down here double click hit two and then move it over twice one two and there we go turned out a heck of a lot better this is the fourth time that i've done it every single time my dark would always turn out wrong my son came in here a few minutes ago and i reckon he gave me good luck because for some reason everything turned out perfect this time so it's a really simple easy effect to do i really 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 like it i just think it's super super cool and i cannot wait to actually finish this up and make it into something very special i am wayne baron this is dark effects studios inside of photoshop the new let me see what are we we are the new we are the new we are the new photoshop 2017 y'all have a good one now bye bye